hat die längsten Beine von allen und einen großen Traum. Der 22-jährige Nigerianer Emeka Luke Egi kam in der Hoffnung auf eine professionelle Fußballkarriere nach Istanbul. So wie alle anderen hier. Jeden Sommer zeigen die Spieler beim African Cup Turkey ihr Können unter den kritischen Blicken professioneller Scouts. Beim Turnier im Vorjahr gelang es so acht Spielern, ein Team zu finden. Jetzt hofft auch Emeka, von einem großen Club entdeckt zu werden. The success starts from the mind. If your mind is strong enough to push in, then you have to succeed. So for me, uh, I believe that one day I'll become a, a professional footballer. That is my belief. Though I'm the, in the market, but football is my passion. Fünf Monate zuvor ist Emeka noch nicht in Form. Der African Cup scheint kaum erreichbar. Es ist Winter in Istanbul, bitter kalt. Er hat kein Team und kaum Geld für den täglichen Lebensunterhalt. Zum Trainieren kommt er seit Wochen nicht. Als Jugendlicher spielte Emeka in einem Amateurclub in Nigeria. 2019 kamen ein Türke und ein Nigerianer auf ihn zu, gaben sich als Fußballagenten aus. Sie versprachen Emeka eine große Karriere. They brought many players for club trial because we are guaranteed that we're going to have a club here in Turkey. Yeah, so I paid. The other time I told you three thousand dollars, but I went back and checked. It was more than that, getting to five thousand. Die angeblichen Agenten besorgten Emeka und 22 anderen Spielern zweiwöchige Sportvisa. Dann brachten sie sie in die Südtürkei, ließen sie dort ein paar Spiele absolvieren. The first week of February, they, they told us to start calling your people in Istanbul, anywhere in this country, so that they will come and take you. We don't have anything for you. So at that time, I've checked how much I used in coming here. I, I sold lands. My, my parents, they sold some properties for them to sponsor me. But I, I didn't want it to be like a waste for them. So I had to stay back to work, to fight. So that is why I'm still here like this. Um ein bisschen Geld zu verdienen, kauft MK Textilien und sendet sie nach Nigeria. Meist bestellen seine Auftraggeber gefälschte Markenkleidung made in Turkey. Der türkische Verkäufer hat ständig afrikanische Fußballer wie ihn als Kunden. Okay. Ama tabii yazık öyle menajerlerin getirip bıraktığı insanların da başlarının çaresine bakmaları için terk etmeleri kötü. E buraya geliyorlar bir umutla. Bazıları kurtarıyor, bazıları işte mecbur ticaret yapıyorlar. E buraya tekstilli bağ bununla da işte iki seri, üç seri bir şeyler satmaya çalışıyorlar. Bu bir gayret. Hani yanlış işler de yapabilirler ama onun yerine çalışmayı tercih ediyorlar. Wenn es gut läuft, verdient Emeka damit um die 20 Dollar am Tag. You have to know your ability to fight life. Let's go. It's a place that you don't you don't give room to giving up. Yeah, you struggle, you fight. <laughs> yeah, that is it. But actually, it's better than being there in my country because. 
they have this crisis, 2020, I think. They killed all the youth. So it's better I stay here, I work it out, then help home. Im Viertel Axarei finden sich unzählige solcher Biografien. Hier tummeln sich afrikanische Geschäftsleute ebenso wie Schmuggler für eine Flucht in die EU. Im Zwischenlager stapeln Emeka und viele andere ihre Waren und ihre geplatzten Träume. Kaum einer hier hat eine Aufenthalts- oder Arbeitsgenehmigung. Very tough, because from here to there, sometimes I will not eat for the whole day till I accomplish my mission before I settle down and eat. In der obersten Etage der Geschäftspassage betreibt der nigerianische Ex-Profi-Fußballer Timothy Alade ein Logistikunternehmen. Er ist zugleich der Organisator des African Cup. Er schätzt, dass derzeit über 1500 afrikanische Fußballer in Istanbul gestrandet sind, fast alle hergelockt durch Betrüger, die sich als Sportagenten ausgeben. Emeka verspricht sich Hilfe von ihm. I want to go back to the game. <laughs> But, you know, uh, don't just let it be that I want to go back to the game. Yes, which focus? I which... Want, yeah, I want you to have something at the back of your mind. And now you are going back to make it big. Yes. So you have to set a goal for yourself that within this period of time and this period of time, I want to be in a club. And if you walk towards it, it's achievable. You believe that? I believe. So that's what you need to do. Thank you for the advice, Senior Man. You're welcome. I, I actually, Emeka took a very good step. Yeah, he decided to, to stop training because things were actually very difficult. Feeding, accommodation, and all kind of stuff become very, very difficult. So he had to stop. Work, save some money, and now he's going back again to resume. And hopefully something good is going to happen to him. So this is what we tell most of the players. Don't go into crime. Rather, get something doing. Already. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. So don't forget what we talk about. Okay. Go back there and make a video game. Etwas Großes, das bedeutet auch ein großes Geschäft. Noch vier Monate bis zum African Cup. Ein nigerianischer Fußballmanager begrüßt europäische Trainer und Clubpräsidenten in einer Hotellobby. Sie sind auf der Suche nach jungen Talenten. We talk by phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Anthony. Finally, we're happy. So. And here. And here. Anthony. Super. Okay. So, your first time in Istanbul? No. No? No, I don't. But we never came for, for, for exactly, you know, football scouting. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a new direction. Yeah. But super. Thank, thanks to him. He's been of help. It's very common, yeah. It's, it's very good and uh, uh, players is with big passion. And it's too close. No need to go to uh, Africa, Nigeria, Cameroon, Senegal. <laughs> it's two time closer, two time uh, easier uh, to much more organize here. Yeah? Because I have uh, many, many offer go to also to Africa to some academy, watch some play. But it's uh, uh, need many, many time, many, and this uh, process is too long. Manager Anthony Ivekbu will im Poker um die besten Spieler mitmischen. So we said, okay, let's work with them, let's find some teams for them and invite uh, agents and coaches to see, because there are quite a lot of talents here, so many. So when you are ready, we go. You set? Are you ready to go? We are absolutely ready. Okay, We've, let me let me. We are ready to go. We are ready to fly. <laughs> we are ready. Die Gäste suchen neue Spieler für die erste und zweite Liga von Tschechien, Lettland, Estland und der Schweiz. Im Taxi zeigt Anthony Videos seiner Spieler. He was supposed to play. He was supposed to be signed for Besiktas. Five, six years ago? No, maybe four years ago. Mm -hmm. But he is really good.
Anthonys Team soll für die Gäste ein Trainingsspiel absolvieren. Die 30 Spieler stammen aus Ghana, Kamerun und Nigeria. Isaac, äh, Philipp, Coco, Godwin, Rashid, Mila. Kapitän Samuel Olaside mit der Nummer 18 hat seit Jahren auf so eine Chance gewartet. I feel excited, I feel great. You know, playing football alone makes you happy. So you have this opportunity to play, to showcase yourself to, to one of the, the best coaches in Europe and the best management in Europe uh, is, is very exciting. So I think uh, me and the boys, I think uh, the spirits are so high and uh, yeah, we just want to go on the pitch and uh, express our feelings and uh, enjoy the game. Samuel is 27 Jahre alt. Seine Eltern sind christliche Priester. Er spielte bereits in der zweiten Fußballliga in Nigeria, ist seit zwei Jahren in Istanbul. Hallo, guys. How are you? So, uh, like I promised uh, last time in December, I come back to you uh, to watch uh, how is your progress, how will you develop and uh, how I tell before, try to help you to get some, some club professional in, uh, in Europe. Kapitän Samuel ist Verteidiger, schießt mit dem linken Fuß. Vor zwei Jahren versprach ihm sein Agent einen Profivertrag in Istanbul. Daraus wurde nie etwas. Faul im Strafraum. Samuel darf einen Elfmeter schießen. Ein guter Tag, auch für African Cup Organisator Timothy. Playing in Turkish club is very difficult, but the chances of moving to Europe, I think these steps here is the right step in the right direction, and I just believe that things can only get better. Ten, eight, ten years ago. It wasn't like this. Nobody had this kind of opportunity. And today these opportunities are here. It can only get better, I believe. Aktuell schaffen es nur 2 bis 3 Prozent der gestrandeten Spieler, ein professionelles Team zu finden, sagt Timothy. We have uh, we attach uh, three or four player, but it's not so fast process. It's not so easy. We buy him ticket and they play uh, and they fly to tomorrow with us. It's not possible. Manchmal zahlen die Clubs den afrikanischen Teammanagern Transfergeld, aber eben nicht immer. Wie viel Geld genau? Das verraten sie nicht. Noch zwei Monate bis zum African Cup. Vom großen Geld kann Einzelkämpfer Emeka bisher nur träumen. Ein langer Arbeitstag geht zu Ende. Emekas Freundin stammt aus Uganda und arbeitet in Istanbul als Kinderfrau. Sie ist sein größtes Glück, sagt er. Es ist spät geworden. Trotzdem will Emeka mit Amateuren aus seiner Nachbarschaft noch trainieren. Er muss dringend wieder in Form kommen. Since I'm in the business line, I have to survive. So, so, then working on myself in the field of play. Though I can say that. I'm 70% fit for now. At least I can play the whole of maybe 80 minutes or 70 minutes. If I'm in the field, I can play. Are you 
Für das Hobbyteam aus Türken, Syrern und Afghanen reicht das. Aber für mehr? Emeka spielte 2019 bereits beim African Nations Cup, kam bis ins Finale. Danach interessierte sich ein bulgarischer Club für ihn, doch der Deal platzte. Weiterkommen. Für Samuel und seine Mitspieler könnte genau das heute passieren. Ihr Trainer hat Rückmeldung von den europäischen Clubs bekommen. Everybody is anxious because everybody wants to know what's going on. But you know, as I told you, you know, the spread is high. You know, you wake up every day, you wake up from your bed every day, you put on your boots. You just have to be positive. Bevor es mit dem Training losgeht, die lang ersehnte Nachricht. Summer, please come. Come to this side. Uh, we want to announce uh, the captain of the team, you know, will be traveling to Czech Republic. So, yeah, he has concluded with the team and uh, he just got his visa yesterday. Samuel soll bald in der zweithöchsten Liga spielen. Er kann es noch gar nicht richtig fassen. <lacht> For me, it's a big step, you know, and I just have to, you know, keep my head down, keep walking as usual. Maybe now I have to do more. I don't really have much to say, just to give thanks to God for everything, because he, he made me who I am, he made me to be where I am today. So and having this opportunity, it's been a long, long, long time coming, and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful to God for everything. Um die 8.000 Euro monatlich kann Samuel künftig verdienen, heißt es. For an African player, when you go to when you go, when you go back home, you're like king, you know. Everybody worships you because you have enough money. When you change it to our local currency, it's so huge, you know. Like, so that's why we always try to play. Most of us just want to play, not because of the game. We want to play because of the money in it. Because we have to take care of our families, we have to take care of our friends, our siblings, you know, not easy. Bereits zwei Tage später soll Samuel abreisen. Die letzten Wochen hat er in der Wohnung seines Managers gewohnt. Seiner Freundin in Nigeria hat er gerade erst die frohe Botschaft überbracht. She was like surprised about it, but I think <laughs> she's still going to fight me for that. <laughs> Because she, she said I, I, I usually keep a lot of things from her, so, but I know maybe she might be kind of tough, but she's, uh, she's happy, she's excited about it. Thank you, man. Voilà. Good luck, man. Yeah, no, no, later. Samuel kam alleine nach Istanbul. Nun wird er die Stadt auch wieder alleine verlassen. Anfang Juni ist es endlich soweit. 
And you are all welcome to the this year's edition of Africa Cup of Nations 2022. Das große Turnier ist eröffnet. Emeka kann doch noch mitspielen. In der Mannschaft von Turnierorganisator Timothy. It's kind of, uh, let me give it 50% hope from here. Since I can't break in the, in the first league, but you know, this is life, anything can happen. I can break in by God's grace, it's, it's only by chance. Timothy hat Trikots organisiert. Finanziert wurden sie durch EU-Gelder. Emeka ist mit 22 Jahren der Älteste im Team. Die meisten sind zwischen 17 und 19 Jahre alt. I went to most of the clubs. And I picked the younger players. Most of the players that could not make the team, and I brought them together so that they can have the feel of the Nations Cup. Because ordinarily in their team, they cannot be part of the competition. So I don't want them to be left out. So that was why I brought them together. Eine B-Mannschaft, aber immerhin. Emeka's team started stark. Am Rand taucht plötzlich Samuel auf. Er ist zurück aus Europa, angeblich nur für kurze Zeit. Yeah, went there, trained and uh, trained with the team and yeah, everything was very positive. So now I just wait and see what happens next. I'm just a, a football player. I just go there and work on instructions. So that is up to the the board and the the, manage, the managers. Einen Vertrag hat Samuel noch nicht in der Tasche. Aber er glaubt fest daran, bald wieder in Europa zu sein. Für Emeka auf dem Feld wird es schwer. Der Gegner ist einfach zu stark. Und auch von den Scouts ist weit und breit keine Spur. Die kommen erst ab dem Viertelfinale. Am Ende verliert Emekas Team 4 zu 0. We tried our best to keep them the first half. The second half, I don't know what happened. Too much error. Too bad. That is football. Two person cannot win at the time. But it's too much now. Four. Es sollte für Emeka das letzte Spiel des Turniers werden. Wenige Tage später entscheidet er sich, das Team zu verlassen. Stattdessen will er mehr arbeiten, sparen und mit seiner Freundin nach Afrika zurückkehren. Um von dort aus einen anderen Weg nach Europa zu finden.